Well, I built myself a new computer. This one here is an extremely modern computer. Um, and, and you'll see it has a cooler up here. I probably got close to a, less than $1,000 in this. I built it myself. It has a 1300 watt power supply in there. It has four SSD drives. Uh, I just added this uh, liquid cooler up here. It goes along with the RAM. They're all the uh, Corner products. That video card so long it had to have a support at the end of it. And uh, actually, I think that support I made looks pretty cool. Anyhow, you can buy you can buy card supports. Or this is a new stack case. I think the case cost it was on sale. It's usually around 200 bucks. I got it for 80 bucks. Um, already had already had this light right here. I'm using it as the uh, RGB hub, and you can program it to do all kinds of different things, and that makes all my lights work on the basically the same uh, format. Uh, Corair has a app that you can run these lights with. Um, this is a uh, Gen 12 Intel processor. Uh, I think this is a Raptor board or MSI board. Um, power supply, I got it for 60 bucks. They sell for about 200 and a half. So bought it used on eBay. Um, the video card was brand new, not been opened. Uh, and it's a uh, 30, 60, I believe with 12 gigs of RAM. Uh, the uh, CPU was throttling back because I was using a regular air cooler on it. And I'm just kind of show you some of the specs here. And the temperature on them was running around 100, uh, I think 105 Celsius. So you can see I've got it way down in the 80s. Why that's still a hundred here, I don't know. You can rev up the motors on there. Um, you've ever seen this program here. Um, this lets you know how, how good your video card is. You can kind of stress test it running at 47 degrees and uh, that's Celsius I think it never gets so higher than 60 it never gets it don't even make it up there I usually usually exit it this is a really hard program to run on a video can crash your computer if it's not up to it. It's showing 34 degrees <coughs> right now and doubled off at 34. I was looking at the max, which is 58. It's right at 34. There's a shout out to uh, Fixer Flop. Uh, he Help me get back into computers again. 
he is a really cool guy um, and in a lot of these testing programs uh, he uses I watched a, a lot of his uh, videos or if you'll notice how I've got all the wires in there I've been a zillion billion wires in this thing and they're all tied together and put back in the back and here's here's a video right here it's saying that there's an update to this so I guess we'll get it Okay, the actual United States. Mm, that's fine. Mm. Uh, close, close, close. Yeah, I call them tabs. You no know, tabs uh, runs uh, not a lot of, of information, but a little bit. I was wondering why this uh, this browser doesn't close them. Evidently, it doesn't. It's not Intel browser. And here's another program right here. This right here lets you know uh, the temperature of your hard drives gives you a list of them. This is the boot. See it says over 10% free space or more. It's giving me a warning. I just transferred everything from the other computer to this computer and, and then ironed it out. This thing weighs about 100, 100 pounds. It's a beast. It's not as big as some, but boy is it heavy. That power supply, I don't know if you, <clears throat> you buy power supplies for your computer, buy them by weight. If they're heavy, more than likely they're built good. And if they're light, then they're not built so good. The first time I've ever used a liquid cooler, it was really easy. Um, not very many people We'll talk about this online because everybody seems to already know, but not everybody does. Um, you don't have to do anything to it. The liquid's already in it, sealed and everything. All you have to do is just put the hardware in, mount the radiator and the fans, put it all together and install it in your computer. And then you can you can download Corsair uh, uh, software, which allows you complete control of the lights on everything from uh, from the uh, CPU you could you can choose things to change it to and then we we'll go back to the course of this I got the same video I mean got the same RAM this has 64 gig of RAM in it some computers don't even have 32 <laughs> This program seems to work a lot better than I expected. So I minimize this right here and let it run in the background. Like that. And you can see what kind of video cord I got. Like I said, I think I got a thousand dollars in this. I've got that much. Uh, 
I've seen computers not built half as good as this in here going for four and five thousand dollars. This is a beast. Enjoy the heck out of it. I build I built this one and I'm building my little boy one too. Um, of course I still work on Jibos. <laughs> but now I can program them even more. Oh, by the way, this this little uh, Wi-Fi board right here is perfect to have to start up a computer. You see you get a computer like this, it doesn't have any of the drivers in it or anything. This is a little common card you can get the driver for pretty easy. It's a 6G. So you slap it into a computer that doesn't have its uh, drivers, and then you can update it and get the drivers in it, um, and then pull it out. It's kind of like a tool. I'd recommend using this as a, like a tool. It's just a Wi-Fi card that works like a tool to put it in your new build. Put it in your new build and uh, use it just to set up your computer with and then pull it out and do another one. What's the name of it? I've done that before back when I was building computers, even with dial-up modems. You would just put a, a known modem in there that you wouldn't really get, really go to use. You use it like a tool to get the drivers, excuse me. Anyhow, for a long time I couldn't update my, uh, here's all the information on, on the uh, CPU. Uh, I couldn't update it. Uh, Windows wouldn't update, but it does now. And show you the processor uh, registers as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Re registers as six processors or six cores. Uh, Sixteen, is it? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, 16. 16 cores, which is ridiculous. <laughs> I was running a computer with three cores, or was it four? I think it was four. It says 16. It's wild. And it has a trusted platform module built into the unit itself. Um, NVPM, then NVM Express controllers. Uh, we have high definition audio. Uh, of course, the monitors, whatever. The TV, I got hooked up to it, which is the LG. And, uh, Got a human interface here with all sorts of inputs. We have a camera up here at the top. And the firmware has been updated. And uh, graphics is on board. I'm gonna disable that. I don't know why in the world that's enabled. That's just wasting resources. Uh, and there's your hard drives. It has a Bluetooth capability on here. Anyhow, uh, took me not counting. Well, I first first thing you do is when you uh, when you get a motherboard and a processor, you need to get familiar with it. So, what you do is you'll you'll take a a power supply and set the thing on a box and create a, what's called a, a temporary bench where you can actually work on work on it and kind of get it I call it propped up back when I was working in the TV department that's what we, we would do we'd get a TV set had um, B plus 5, five volt B plus missing and we'd sub in 
five volts on that line and get the set up and then we could find out why it was failing and why it was crashing and all that but basically on this is the same way um just take your motherboard and set it on top of this box and uh then you uh, kind of find out where the pins are to uh, uh, JP1. J, 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 is it JP1? I believe it's JP1. Is is usually where you'll find the other uh, switch, and you can actually cut it on and off with a, a small screwdriver on those those pins. Find your reset there. They're making these a lot easier to uh, a lot less or idiot friendly I guess so you won't have to worry about uh, putting things in wrong lucked up on that video card that's a that's a that was a $500 video card I think I got it for $289 brand new open box is what it said and, uh, and uh, I ain't never had one with 64 gig of RAM. You can see this this got a beast of a radiator up there. I could tell you how to put the radiators in. Basically, you assemble the whole unit, get it ready to go. Make sure you get the right bracket. Uh, it comes with different spacers. Um, you can kind of find out which leg you need to have it on. So you want your, your block to be right up against the CPU and put a nice glaze of uh, of a heat sink compound on it and uh, never used a liquid cooler before but it really is neat and you can see up here it, they set these uh, cases are made for them so you know this is tempered glass not plastic like the other one I had it's just beautiful I like it, it really works good And uh, I don't know how many people have charter. A lot of people do, you know, charter. And they have programs. Yeah, I have a problem with Norton uh, locking my internet out. It was actually my Wi-Fi. See, for instance, uh, I'm hooked to Wi-Fi now. But before that thing would not let me hook up to nothing. I thought there was something wrong with a computer. And, uh, just didn't want to risk it overheating with the fan that I use. And I always remember that. But you want to have crossed ventilation. You see how these fans are all faced the same way. Now this right down here is just something I added. Uh, basically it's just a complete uh, RGB uh, fan with its own uh, RGB regulator software I mean uh, that runs the entire system so and kind of an exhaust uh, a little bit of an exhaust on the uh, hard drives down there in the bottom and I've got it set in on some screws I get mounting screws for it and I just put them in there where they're sticking out like legs so it clears the bottom and that uh, that glowing stick you see there is a jack straw. For, it's pretty cool. It looks just like it was made for it. <laughs> Anyhow. And for the build, <clears throat> I used this video card, which I highly recommend. Really a good product made by NVIDIA. Uh, actually, it's an ABUS, but it's an NVIDIA board. So it's made by ABUS with their logo on it. The 12 gig of RAM really a good board and the cooler right here uh, I really recommend this as well simple to put in you're going to need plenty of panduits or wire straps as they're called in other trades this is the tomahawk motherboard that I used in there uh, I married it with this i5 12 generation unlocked cores which is good for gamers 
uh, and the power supply which I got for $60 on eBay was brand new it's an 80 gold plus um, 1300 watt power supply and the case um, is the Musics, I believe that's where you say it, Musics um, G08, uh, pre, and the fans are all pre-installed, and all you got to do is hook up your RGB hub, and it goes from there, it's a glass door, actually tempered glass. Uh, racks for the hard drives in the bottom down and this is what it ended up looking like um, after I put it together like I was telling you there's a lot of straps involved in there <laughs> anyhow and uh, I've got my memory red right now for a reason uh, it's not because it's overheating, so because I uh, changed it to that, I did have it doing a rainfall. So we can do that again. There's an app that controls your memory that the manufacturers of the memory and the CPU uh, uh, allows you to change it on the fly. I'm going to include this on the video. And uh, this is Dr. Jibo. We still have Jibos. Ha <laughs> ha.